family kanji queen here excuse my parents guys i just woke up but i do want to drop something for the family now some of you may or may not know that there's a portal that has been opened and every time around this year do you guys notice a pattern right do you guys notice that every time like literally summertime either it's the end of july or the beginning of august either leo season or cancer season there's a lot of um this agenda or there's some theme that's pushed like either police brutality um, there's some type of race wars or riots, right? Um, and recently, I don't know if you guys have seen it trending on social media, but there was a fight that had happened in Alabama um, where these uh, white people were jumping this black security guard and then all of the black people jumped off, um, got off the ship after it docked and they started to jump the white people who jumped the black guy. And, you know, everybody's excited saying, you know, that's the unity. And I'm not disagreeing, right? Like those white people had no rights putting their hands on that black man. Um, and I don't think anybody needs to be putting their hand on anybody, period. But right at the end of the day i realized like oh i see what's happening here they're trying to incite a race war and i know some of y'all might be like yo cq you looking too deep into this relax cq it's like guys this is the thing right the thing about introverts is we're very quiet people but we're very observant right like we could be the quietest person in the room but we are analyze everything that's going on we don't know who secretly hates who we'll know everybody's secrets and we'll just keep hush hush as we're observing and so that's what i learned to do i be quiet and i observe what's happening and what i observe is a pattern here and i noticed that black outrage is the the newest currency and i said this years ago when i was living in new orleans i said yo do you guys notice that every time summertime they do the same thing where they build up your emotions you got to understand how manipulation works you can't manipulate somebody if they're not emotionally invested right the only way you can get a manipulated is if somebody can get you emotionally invested in a thing because if you're not emotionally invested, you're indifferent. You're not putting your energy into that. And what is emotions? Emotions is energy in motion, okay? So this is what I mean by, and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be blunt here. Most black people, melanated people, indigenous people are very emotional people, right? We get sad quick, we get mad quick. Like it, it's not, it doesn't take a lot to set us off. And this is why the Buddhists always talk about how people who are magically inclined, people who are very powerful spiritually, that they have to learn how to control their emotions unless they will become a slave to them. The Art of War by Sun Tzu, he talks about how if you don't know yourself and you only know the enemy or vice versa, if the enemy knows you more than you know yourself, you will be conquered every time. Read The Art of War by Sun Tzu. It's free PDF online. They got the free audio book on YouTube. There's no excuse. In the world of information, ignorance is a choice. I don't care what anybody say. This is what I mean. Sometimes we got to pull back from social media because I really feel like sometimes, like, not even sometimes, a lot of the times, how, like, think about it, right? Most of the people wake up, they check their phone, they go through social media, and then you see a post that pulls your emotions. It could be anything. It could be these relationship dating podcasts that's saying something outlandish. It could be something like um, a, a video about, you know, police brutality, a police officer killing a young boy, right? Uh, it could be anything to pull your emotions. And and, and, it's, and it's effed up as this sound, because y'all going to be like, CQ, what you mean? We're not supposed to care about that. we supposed to. That's our people. We got to stand up. I get it. I was on the other side of the coin. I was in those rallies once upon a time, pumping my fist with the afro, all of that. Like, I get it. And so one day I started realizing, I'm like, yo, this ain't solving nothing. Because they've been rioting and pumping their fists and yelling and screaming on social media for how many years now and what has been done? Nothing. It's literally like we're living in a cycle. And recently, me and the Divine Royalty family, we did a true spell ritual to kind of expose all of the lies that's been happening. And the funny thing with a, a true spell 
or a ritual is that it opens up your eyes. It removes the lies within you so that you can be able to receive the truths outside. And sometimes we're not able to see these patterns or these truths because we're still holding on to these lies that we've been conditioned to believe. Or maybe our parents taught us, society taught us, social media taught us. A lot of this stuff is lies. Once upon a time, people used to watch TV and believe everything that the news broadcasters say. Now everybody believes everything on social media. We live in a time now where anything could be AI generated, right? Anybody can create some type of AI avatar. You think it's a real person that you watch and you think it's real celebrities and influencers that you look up to, but you've been idolizing a robot or AI this whole time and this person doesn't even exist. Yeah, it gets deep. Okay. Only thing I want to say is this, family. Y'all know I love y'all. And y'all know I say things that's not very... Um, it's not popular opinion. So I know some people want to get mad under this post, but it is what it is. This is my page at the end of the day and my platform. And I want to use my platform in order to share what I see, share my journey, and also see if other people see what I see as well, because I know I can't be the only one seeing this pattern. Some people call this the Lion's Gate portal that's opening up, right? Um, some people may call this something else. Like it's definitely some paradigm shifts happening right now. And the only thing that I want y'all to know is that we live in a world of illusions, right? The ancients have been talking about this, that the waking world, the Maya, right? Um, this dream world that we're in right now, um, it's not real. And everything is created with our minds. And if we realize that the indigenous or the original people are so powerful, we got to be careful of what we, what we direct our energy towards because we literally create this world. So if, let's say, for instance... I don't have any power, right? Let's say I, I'm some evil person. I don't have any power, but I know you do. And so if I want to be able to control this world and I don't have any magic, I got to find a way to manipulate you. So that way you can do what I want, right? So I'm going to say, you know what? I don't have any magic, but I know the person who's watching this does. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to make them really upset and I'm going to harness that energy of anger because we spoke about sacred anger, right? That a lot of people come from warriors and that's why you got that angry blood in you i'm gonna tap into that and i'm gonna harness that energy like a battery right notice how tired you feel after always being on social media and strolling notice how you feel drained right and how recharged you feel when you take a break from your phones when you take a break from technology it's a reason for that they're literally pulling your energy and your source from you to fuel their their agendas they're literally taking your emotions to fuel. Your emotions is literally like a, a battery and their generator cannot work without your emotions. Now, imagine if everybody just said, nah, I'm not buying into this crap. I know it's cap. Like, I know that this is orchestrated, all of this. Whether it's the lady that was on a plane that was orchestrated, you got to think about it. Every month or every season, it's a new, it's a new, it's something else to distract you. What was he talking about last month? They was talking about Jess Hilarious and the whole trans community, right? It was like, it was women versus the trans women, gays versus the straights. Now, blacks versus the whites. What's next? What's next? Humans versus AI, aliens versus humans. Like, what, what, what is next? Because at the end of the day, it's like they're running out of, people are starting to realize the patterns and so they're running out of ideas and so it's like reruns of the same fucking show and it's like we're tired now like what else you got up your sleeve because it's not working anymore we're woke true spell hitting eyes is open paradigm shifts like people are starting to look up in the sky and be like yo why does the sky split have y'all seen my recent post why is the sky split like that why is that why does that cloud look like that that's not a real cloud Okay, people are starting to ask questions. And I know a lot of us that have been tapped in for a long time, like we've been new about this, but we got to be humble. Let me take that back. Because somebody recently told me, stop using that word humble, right? Um, we have to be understanding that everybody's on their own journey. And don't be condescending. Because at the end of the day, a lot of people are going to come to you when they want to find the clarity, when they start realizing like, oh shit, everything that someone so said was really true. You're going to start noticing friends that, that tried to brush you off, that told you it was crazy. They're going to come back. Family members that tried to, you know, outcast you because you said all of the things that you said, they didn't believe you. They're going to try to come back. In that moment, right? Remember what I said? We, we spoke about this before. Now people are starting to see what we've been seeing for years now. 
So now people are going to start coming to the healers. People are going to start coming to the spiritualists. People are going to start coming to the teachers. People are going to start seeking this knowledge. And it's the floodgates are open. The floodgates of knowledge. So I just want to leave you guys with this. Understand that your emotions are powerful. Your mind is powerful. Your thoughts create this reality. And you got to be aware of where you shift your thoughts. Be like the Buddhists and be in control of your emotions. Make your emotions work for you. Wake up in the morning and set your intentions before you just scroll through social media because social media will set the impress and the impression on your mind before you even get a chance to develop your own ideas or your own goals for the day. Right? Don't let somebody else control you and use your emotions against you to create whatever agenda that they want for their reality. F out of here. Like we're taking back our power. Call back your power, right? And you manifest the reality that you want to see. And I'm gonna leave you guys with that. Right. Oh, and one last thing. Um, the gag is everybody's talking about the aliens looking up in the sky, but they've been living right underground the whole time. And a lot of us are the aliens. We're not even from here. But that's a whole nother conversation. If you want to know more about that, I got a whole bunch of YouTube videos talking about where we really come from, our ancestral bloodlines, how we are warriors, and how to activate your ancestral energy. But I love you, family. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and follow, and share this with a friend. And until next time, Kanja Queen signing out. Peace.